Come on now, Moose. Now, Jared, just a true pitcher's duel tonight from the from the very first inning. What was the atmosphere like pitching in a game like that? I mean, first and foremost, we're in the playoffs. It's a GNAC tournament, so I mean that makes an atmosphere for itself. But when you kind of realize early on it's going to be a pitcher's duel, other guys throwing a hell of a game too. You know, you just got to lock in and try to last as long as you can until your boys come through and they finally did late. A couple of big situations there that, you know, they got a couple runners on base in a couple different innings with nobody out. You really bared down there and struck out a couple. Talk about that. Uh, you know, we talk about it all year. Just keep making pitches. Don't let outside factors get into your head. None of that. Just keep making pitches, and that's all I was trying to do. Uh, looked like this was this was really your ball game uh, from the start. You wanted the rock, and, and you pitched all the way into the ninth inning. Talk about that mentality there. Just trying to give my guys the best chance I can. You know, being a senior, I know it's every game I get into could be potentially my last one, and you know that's that's in the back of my head. You know, just pitch pitch as best as I can, leave it all out on the field, and give the guys a shot. Talk about uh, Connor coming through a, a big, huge swing of the bat there to oh ease the goodness. pressure. Oh my goodness, the guy was due. Couldn't have came in a bigger spot. Absolutely incredible, honestly. Uh, how, how good does it feel to get this game one playoff win and be uh, on the winner side of the bracket going into tomorrow? Uh, it was huge. It's huge to win the first game. Trying to work your way back through the loser's bracket is really tough. It's going to wear on your pitching, wear on everything. So pulling out this first one, setting yourself up for tomorrow is huge. Connor, this has been a tough season for you, just from a health standpoint, in and out of the lineup, uh, week by week. Uh, how good did that swing the bat feel for you? I mean, it felt great. I mean, both sides of the ball, it was kind of a pitching duel, so, I mean, it was just grinding at bats and at bats, and, you know, I got up in a good situation. I just wanted to put a good swing on the ball, and, I mean, I executed that pitch, so. Yeah, you attacked the first pitch there in the at bat. What was your approach at the plate there? I mean, I was, I mean, I was sitting change up. I was hoping to see something up in the zone, and I mean, I got it and just put a good swing on it. How good did that feel, considering uh, what Jared Molina was doing out there on the mound to give him a lead there? Well, I mean, he competed for us all day. I mean, I, this, we were struggling early in the game, and I mean, we grinded out at bats, and uh, luckily I got up with the guys on and just put a good swing. And just yeah. Talk about the fight that this team has. You guys were down. You trailed two nothing, but you score right away to take the lead I mean, for the, good. The whole team's a bunch of competitors. I mean, compete every single inning and uh, there's no doubt in my mind that we're going to come back and, and win that game. So. This is your third GNAC championship tournament you played in. You started off with a win. Uh, where do you guys go from here? I mean, just worry about tomorrow. Just got to get a good night's sleep, get up, get ready to play tomorrow. Uh, coach, I mean, that's the, the true essence of playoff baseball there. Two aces going to the mound, just duking it out. Talk about the atmosphere of that game. Yeah, I mean, you can't ask for more. I mean, both arms threw the heck out of the ball. I thought, you know, their offense grinded some of the bats off JMO, and they had their opportunities, and we he pitched out of it. And Noy had his stuff, man. He was tough on us, and just a testament to our guys grinding out some of the bats and just trying to get the next guy up, and then Linebarger comes up with a big knock there. Uh, talk about the starter, Jared Molna, the senior. He's been a competitor so hard all season long. It takes it all the way into the ninth. Uh, comes close to finishing it. He gave you everything today. Yeah, I mean, anytime that guy's got the ball on the mound, like we like our chances. And he's a dog when he's up there pitching. He pitches with some emotion. Our guys feed off of that. And we were just trying to go get him a run, you know. And he, he kept us in it for the whole nine. And we thought he was going to get that CG. But um, Muscat came in big for us to get that last out. And uh, I know he wanted the complete game bad. But as soon as he comes back to the dugout, he's the first guy in the top step yelling for Sam to finish it. Talk about him being a teammate that way. 
that's his group, man. These guys all love one another. Um, they play together that way. It's a tight-knit group. I think people can see that. And that's what it's all about. This time of the year, it's about playing for your boys. Uh, maybe nobody needed that swing of the bat more than Connor Leinbarger with the year he's had. Been, been up and down with injuries. Uh, hard to get consistent at-bats. Uh, not a better player to hit that home run for you. He's a gamp. I mean, we, we've trusted him all season long. If that guy can limp out on the field, we're going to put him out there in the lineup, and he comes up big with us. And now your focus shifts to Western Oregon. You play them tomorrow at 3.30. Uh, it was a competitive series during the regular season. Should be a good one again tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to enjoy this one, get some rest, and wake up 0-0 tomorrow and get ready to go compete with another good club.